given vector u in component form, find the magnitude and direction, which is the angle in which the vector points measured counterclockwise from the positive x-axis, where the angle theta is in the interval from zero to 360 degrees. Let's first sketch the vector in standard position, which means the initial point is at the origin, and then from here, because the x component is negative four, we would move left four units, and because the y component is negative two, we then move down two units to determine the terminal point of the vector in standard position, which is this point here, which means this would be vector u. Notice by sketching the horizontal and vertical components, we now have a right triangle on the coordinate plane that we can then use to determine the magnitude, which is the length of the vector, and then the angle theta, which again is the angle measured from the positive x-axis to the vector, which is this angle here. To find the magnitude, notice how this is the hypotenuse of the right triangle, which we normally label C, but since C is the magnitude of the vector, we can say the magnitude of the vector is equal to the square root of the quantity x squared plus y squared. And then to determine the direction of the vector, the angle theta, we can use the fact that on the coordinate plane, tangent theta is equal to y divided by x. Solving for theta, we have theta equals arctangent of y divided by x. We need to be careful though when determining theta because the output or range of arctangent is the open interval from negative 90 degrees to positive 90 degrees. So we do need to make sure we do give the correct angle theta for the direction of the vector. Let's begin by determining the magnitude where the magnitude of vector u is equal to the square root of the quantity, the square of negative four plus the square of negative two, which gives us the square root of 16 plus four, and therefore the magnitude of vector u is equal to the square root of 20. However, we should simplify if possible. This will simplify if 20 has any perfect square factors and since 20 is equal to four times five and four is a perfect square, this will simplify. The square root of 20 is equal to the square root of four times the square root of five. The square root of four is equal to two and therefore the exact magnitude of vector u is equal to two square root five. And now to determine the direction angle or angle theta. Theta is equal to arc tangent of y divided by x or the ratio of the opposite side to the adjacent side, which gives us negative two divided by negative four. Simplifying, we have theta is equal to arc tangent of one half. And now we'll go to the calculator. We need to verify that we are in degree mode. So we press the mode key and notice how we are in degree mode. So we go back to the home screen and enter second tangent for arc tangent or inverse tangent, one divided by two, close parenthesis, and enter. Rounding to two decimal places, notice we round up to 26.57 degrees. But this is not the direction of the vector because 26.57 degrees is actually in the first quadrant, not the third quadrant. But this will tell us the reference angle of our angle in the third quadrant. Let's begin by sketching the angle at 26.57 degrees, where the terminal side would point in the opposite direction of our angle. The terminal side would be here, where this angle measures 26.57 degrees. So while it's not the angle we're looking for, it does give us a reference angle of our angle in the third quadrant. This angle here, this reference angle is 26.57 degrees which means our angle theta is actually 180 degrees plus 26.57 degrees, which is equal to 206.57 degrees. So let's call the 26.57 degrees theta sub one, so we're not using the same variable for two different angles. The angle we're looking for is 206.57 degrees the angle starting along the positive x-axis and rotating counterclockwise to the blue vector. So it is important to determine the angle theta that we sketch the given vector 
and then make sure the angle is in the given interval as well as terminates in the correct quadrant. I hope you found this helpful.